We had to take terrorism insurance out on, on our building. <laughs> because, really? Yeah. Um, Please expand. Uh, there's a project, well, there's always crazies out there. I mean, yes. I remember Shonda telling a story of people camping out outside her house when she killed McDreamy. Like, <laughs> it, people get that. crazy because they live with, they bathe in these characters mm-hmm. and they take it personally. And, you know, you're always going to do something that someone doesn't like. Yep. And you don't know how crazy that someone's going to be. So what did you do to upset us? Well, we, we, we're, we're developing a Teen Jesus project that got some people nervous. Uh-huh. Um, but it's it's like the Wonder Years, but with Jesus, and, um, and and just there's all sorts of things where we cross lines and people, you know, get weird about it. You no, know, this past season in Orange, you took on police brutality, the Black Lives Matter. That didn't come with with any sort of nerves, any uh, feeling of oh, I have to get this right. Yeah, there's definitely the the pressure to get mm-hmm. things right. You want to get things right. Sometimes you get things right for a certain audience and wrong for another Another. audience. And you can't please everyone. And Mm -hmm. at the end of the day, I think it's just like a gut check. Am I enjoying this or am I feeling this or am I entertained by this? Because if you start thinking about whether it's appropriate for everyone, you're you're left with, you know, oatmeal. Come on, pick up, pick up. Just going down. Come on, let's go. Hey, this mean we are going to be on TV or we're not going to be on TV? I got to know these things. It means shopping a fucking eye pencil. I use liquid liner. Jenny, you have been vocal about sort of missing the water cooler conversation uh, Mm -hmm. given the rollout model of Orange on Netflix. I'm curious how you approach story knowing that people will watch it on their own timelines. Do you worry about things getting out and how do you approach uh, storytelling differently? I mean, there's nothing to do about it. You know, we're still crafting things to drive through and leave people hanging. And it is a bummer when someone's watched everything in 48 hours mm-hmm. and has posted the spoiler and other people don't watch it till years later, wh- whatever mm-hmm. it is. Um, I mean, I think there's the benefit of instant gratification for people, but I also do miss having the audience on the same page at the same time. Mm-hmm. In terms of being able to do something about it, there's nothing I can do about that. But I think the one benefit I can say about it is when people are watching inundating way. They bathe in the characters. They bathe in the story. They, it is so much more real for them in a, in a weird way because they get to go through this whole, they've spent so much time with the characters that I think it's weirdly a different relationship. How is the Trump era being infused, if in fact it is, into the shows that you are doing. During the election, we were already in and and we were stuck. And we were also limited because our timeline is slower than the timeline of life. And we want to address these things. But do we just throw the timeline out the window because she's only been there a certain number of months Mm -hmm. um, so we can embrace current culture? We're still debating it. I'm not sure how it's going to go. Season five is season five. But for six, I don't think anyone can help but incorporate some of the feelings associated with what's going on and the divisions and all that stuff. What are the things that you guys get approached for, that you, the box that the industry sort of historically has wanted you to be in? I get offered all these, like, wedding movies. And <laughs> I'm always, what in my body of work would make you think that I'd want to write about a bride? <laughs> it's yeah. so weird. It's not as much on TV, but anytime movie stuff, I, and I also think the movies are behind us, frankly, at this point. But I just kept getting, you know, best friends and weddings huh. and this not not my real house <laughs> not not where i want to live when I would like to see a movie. Yeah, I actually want I would to see like yeah. it. I would go to that movie. I would go to see that. <laughs> maybe they're yeah. on to something. All right, maybe, yeah, maybe it's my, my personal challenge to subvert <laughs> the paradigm of wedding yeah. films. Hi. What's up, YouTube? What's up? I'm Ewan McGregor. I'm Billy Bob Thornton. I'm Ryan Murphy. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching The Hollywood, Hollywood Reporter. Reporter on YouTube. Hold on. Make sure to... Dis- see, I can't even read either. Make sure to subscribe for, for more stuff and things. Okay.